my name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, definitely hit that subscribe button if so. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to turn on that notification bell so that you never miss a video of mine. Today we're doing a video all about my veneers. I'm gonna go through the process, the cost, and pretty much everything else that you need to know before getting veneers. First, I wanted to take you guys through the process of getting veneers. So first, you're gonna do some research, find out the doctor that you want, submit a contact form on their website, and then once they email you back, you will probably set up a consultation of some sort. The thing I really liked about my doctor is that the first consultation was free and it was over FaceTime. So I didn't have to leave my house and I didn't have to spend money. And I was able to ask any question that I wanted to know about veneers and it was just really educational for me. I'm pretty sure after this consultation, you get kind of all the paperwork and you decide if you wanna go through with it. Then you can set up the in-person consultation where you actually go into what your smile is going to look like and they'll also take some x-rays and molds of your teeth. The next time you go in, you'll have your temporaries and then I'm pretty sure after about a couple of days, I went back in just for a quick follow-up and then I think about a month later, you get your final veneers and then again, you have a follow-up or two. I know my specific doctor has so many people that actually fly in to see him, so I know that they try to reduce how many times you actually have to be in the office if you're an out-of-state patient, but I literally live like down the street from the doctor's office, so it wasn't a problem for me to go in. Funny enough, I found Dr. Patel on TikTok when I was doing a little bit of research and his content is honestly mind-blowing and I love how transparent he is with the whole process. Another reason was that I didn't have to pay for the first consultation and you can actually even find out the cost of veneers on their website. So they don't try to hide anything, which I really liked. And when I was on my FaceTime consultation with Kelly in the office, she was just so nice and I feel like even going into the office, meeting the whole team, I knew I chose the right doctor because they are all so, so friendly I feel like you don't really get that very often when you walk into a doctor or a dentist's office. I don't think I mentioned this, but I do live in Austin, Texas, and that's where he is located. So I will have all of Dr. Patel's information, like his website, his TikTok, his Instagram, all linked down below if you guys are interested in inquiring about him or just checking out his content if you're not able to make it to Austin, Texas. It really is informative. I feel like when people hear about veneers, they think of those little shark tooth nubs. And that's not how it is these days. At least with my dentist, he did minimal prep veneers, which I'm gonna let him explain what that exactly is. So minimal prep veneers are just like thinner veneers that in where we don't have to dr like drill the teeth down to like nubs, like a lot of people think. But it's minimal in the sense that we're usually adding to the tooth versus like subtracting or taking away a lot of tooth structure. So um, in essence, minimal prep is where we just try to remove the minimal amount of tooth structure in order to do veneers. So the first set of teeth you're gonna get are your temps or temporaries. You'll be able to see the design and really nitpick what you like and what you don't like. I had a follow-up after about a week and we sent notes back to the lab so that they can make my final veneers. These are made out of acrylic or resin material and they're more of a matte look. And once you get your finals, you'll notice that they were a little bit more opaque as well. For your final veneers, you're going to have individual teeth, but for your temps, it's actually one big piece that they just stick in and kind of glue in. So you won't be able to floss. They did give me a water pick if I needed it. And yes, your teeth do get shaved for this. And that's where they start that process. I wanna say I had my consultations back in like April, May. Then I was only able to get on his schedule to get the temps in August and then my finals in September. The process of getting your temporaries and your finals on, I think I wanna say I was there for about three hours each time. A big question I get is, does it hurt? So I was fully awake during both procedures, the temps and the finals. They did give me Valium for anxiety and lidocaine, which I think is the laughing gas. And then of course they numbed up my whole mouth. I do remember after taking the medicine, I literally felt my heart like beating out of my chest. I don't know if that's everyone. I remember Dr. Patel saying it was normal while it was happening. So that definitely like calmed my nerves and I think it only lasted about like five minutes. Since I was fully awake, they had a whole setup for me. I just watched like a Netflix show the whole entire time. The actual process of getting your temps in and your 
final veneers on doesn't hurt because obviously you're numbed up but after the fact I'm not gonna lie to you guys it was pretty uncomfortable because the first time I got my temps they whitened my bottom teeth and that's where it hurt the most because we did a couple of like sessions on the whitening and Kelly was telling me if I feel any sensitivity we'll stop and I didn't feel the sensitivity until I left the doctor's office and I felt these like zigging feelings that honestly made me want to die and the rest of the day I just tried taking like Advil and all that kind of medication and then I passed out on the couch because I literally just could not take that like sensitivity feeling and then also the temps is probably the most uncomfortable part because it's almost like putting in a new Invisalign tray if you guys have ever had Invisalign not the best feeling it is just so tight on your teeth and i found myself like going in to like take off my invisalign retainer but you can't take these off like they're temporaries they're like kind of cemented on your teeth i don't even know with what but my mind was telling me that it was like a new invisalign tray and i feel like sometimes when i did do invisalign i would like give my teeth a break but i couldn't do that with these like i was just stuck with them for a while and that tightening feeling lasted like I feel like I want to say at least five days or maybe a week. I remember when I had my temps it really wasn't enjoyable to eat much because even like softer foods like I love sushi and even if I took a bite of my sushi like it just felt weird like you definitely have to get used to it and I'm still honestly getting used to my finals because my front two teeth still have some sens sensitivity to them and Kelly told me that it would take about three months to really like feel like nothing ever happened. So I'm hoping that time goes pretty fast. It's already been like uh, about a month-ish since I got my finals. Also when you have your temporaries, you have to be very careful with what you eat because they can stain and they can chip. But honestly, I wasn't that careful with what I ate and nothing ever happened to my temps. I feel like at first they were super, super white. And then when I went back in, they weren't as white, but it's not like they were yellow. Overall, I feel like I just wasn't expecting that there was even gonna be pain involved with veneers. I'm not really sure why that didn't like register in my mind but I almost just thought I was gonna go in get these teeth and just be like beautiful and feel good about myself immediately and unfortunately that wasn't very realistic because it definitely was uncomfortable and another thing is that your gums will probably be a little bit irritated and a little bit puffy so I did get Invisalign twice actually and it worked great it straightened out my smile but at the end of the day I don't think it really gave me like my perfect ideal smile and I realized that it was just the length of my teeth and I wanted them a lot longer because I feel like I've always had baby teeth and I don't even have like any fillers in my face or in my lips but I felt like my lip was kind of like taking over my teeth. And so whenever I would talk, only my bottom teeth would show. And I feel like that also led to my RBF and all that kind of stuff. So I really just wanted the length on my teeth from these veneers. I honestly think there were only like a handful of people that were excited for me, but the rest were so terrified when I told them that I was getting veneers because all they have ever heard about was the shark tooth nubs. And so they were like, you really want to do that? You really want to shave down your teeth? And I was like, no, no, like Dr. Patel does minimal prep veneers. And I went into this whole long spiel about it. So obviously after I educated them, they got excited for me, but I feel like the first, you know, second when I told them, they were like, oh, no. but it is true that they are shaving down your teeth even if it's not the nubs you really can't go back so if you guys want to comment that my smile was better before please just please just don't I personally was super excited to get my veneers done and I had no hesitations until I told my friends and family and they made me super nervous that I was starting to have nightmares about either getting my veneers done and they came out looking the exact same or having my veneers fall out so originally I went in wanting eight teeth because obviously I wanted to keep the cost down a little bit and I just didn't feel like my smile was that big that I really showed 10 teeth but Dr. Patel recommended that I got 10 teeth and here's why. So usually when people do veneers one of the first things we, we try to decide is how many veneers should be done and one of the main factors of deciding like if it is six veneers, eight veneers or 10 veneers is how big a person's smile is. And so when we're thinking about that, we really want to provide someone with like a really broad, full smile. 
So like say for example in Sonali's case when she smiles she shows like 10 teeth. Maybe originally like we were thinking like eight but when she smiled really big like she would have showed the, that ninth and tenth tooth which you know if they if we made teeth longer which was one of our goals like we would have had this discrepancy between the teeth we did and the teeth we didn't do so that would almost almost be like more noticeable so we wanted like this really good transition from the front teeth all the way to the back Yes, pretty much you can choose your design. At your consultation, they're going to give you this picture of all of these smiles and what the design name is. And honestly, to me, they all looked the exact same. But I went ahead and brought in my own inspiration picks to my in-person consultation. One of my favorite smiles is Selena Gomez's, so that was definitely my number one inspiration. I can't remember the specifics that I told Dr. Patel, but he did make them a good bit longer. The question that you guys have probably all been waiting for is how much do they cost? Each doctor has different prices, I'm pretty sure, but it's around $1,600 per tooth, and these are porcelain veneers. When I asked Dr. Patel, he said about 15 years, and I feel like when I tell people I have veneers, they always ask like, oh, don't you have to like get them redone in 15 years? In 15 years, I'll be 40 years old, and I'm guessing I'll be able to afford to get them redone then, so no, I'm not worried about it. If anything happens within five years, which honestly nothing should happen, but Dr. Patel covers the cost of it, so it's almost like it has a five-year warranty. I was really curious about this one and when I asked them they just said like you know do whatever you normally do brush in the evening and the morning and floss which I don't do enough so I definitely need to but right now they're so sensitive in between the teeth so I really need to use that water pick um, and see if that helps but overall they told me to just treat them like normal teeth the only thing that you should be careful of is just to not like tear anything open with your teeth like don't tear packages don't like bite on pen caps because there is a possibility that a veneer can break. I remember during our consultation I told them I did not want a Hollywood smile um, so that meant I didn't want it super white and I didn't want it to look super super fake so I wanted it to be definitely more on the natural side and I know my temps were a shade darker and they just recommended that I got a shade wider so the shade that we ended up going with was bl2 it's finally time to show you guys the before and afters which are honestly so shocking to me i was actually going through my camera roll you know cleaning it up deleting videos from earlier this year and i came across a bunch of videos of me talking with my original teeth and i was just so happy that i got my veneers done because you can just see them more when I talk and I love that especially because I'm on camera all the time like it made my confidence go from you know here to like all the way up here I freaking love my new teeth here's some befores and here are the afters I wanted to end this video with things that they don't tell you before getting your veneers. I just had some random notes that I wanted to throw in. So number one, they, they hurt. They're uncomfortable and there is some pain involved with it. And you know, I would like to think that I have a high pain tolerance and maybe, you know, it's different for everyone, but my teeth just felt so sensitive, especially with the temporaries. I think the finals weren't as bad. Um, but like I said, I still have a little bit of sensitivity in my front two teeth. So I just kind of like try to chew everything in the back. You might think that you're gonna have this magical moment where after the procedure's done, you look in the mirror and look at your veneers for the first time and you're just so in love with them but unfortunately that was not the case because obviously you're so numb for at least like you know maybe five to six hours after the procedure is done and for some reason even after the numbness wore down i had to wait till the next day to really just analyze everything and lastly with the temporaries especially because they are more opaque than the final veneers you may have a couple of days where you're just like super unsure because they're so white especially because you're going from your original teeth to the temporary temporaries which definitely look a little bit more fake than your actual final porcelain veneers so I remember the day after the procedure to get my temps in 
I wanted to go take pictures because I was so excited about my new teeth and honestly I felt a little bit insecure because they were so white and I just like wasn't used to it yet. I was taking photos on my iPhone and like selfies and for some reason the iPhone lighting really brightens everything up after you take the photos. So it made me feel even more insecure because they were so white in my camera roll. That feeling definitely wore off like two days later and I just wanted to let you guys know it might take you a couple of days to get used to them. That wraps up this video. If you guys have any other questions about veneers, if I missed out on something, let me know. You can DM me on Instagram or comment them on this video. Or you can also go and check out Dr. Patel's social media. Like I said, it's very informative. He shows the whole process through his TikTok videos and I'm sure his DMs are open as well. Like I said, I'm going to have all of Dr. Patel's information where you can contact him, all that kind of stuff in the description box. He is located downtown Austin, Texas, but again, he sees patients from pretty much all over the world. So if you guys are from out of state, definitely check him out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.